This video was made possible by Dashlane. Stay safe on the internet for free by signing up for Dashlane at dashlane.com slash RLL. Driving sucks. It's dangerous and you have to deal with traffic, potholes, UFOs, weather, and people who merge without putting on their blinker. But you don't usually think when you get in the car about how dangerous your upcoming drive really is. But maybe you should. Road traffic accidents currently kill more people per year than malaria, and it's the leading cause of death for people under the age of 29. In 2013 alone, 1.25 million people died in vehicle accidents across the world, and up to 50 million more were injured. Those numbers are similar to the casualties suffered during entire wars, but they happen every year. And when you compare these numbers of deaths to the amount of air travel related deaths also reported in 2013, you'd find that only 173 people died, which is 7,225 times less people than died in traffic accidents. But let's take a look at which countries across the world are the most dangerous to drive in, and which ones are the safest. There's a couple different ways to measure this, but the first is by measuring road fatalities per year per 100,000 people. By this measurement, these are the top 20 most dangerous countries in the world to drive in, with Libya being by far the worst, recording 73.4 traffic-related deaths per 100,000 residents in 2013. By comparison, the US recorded only 10.6, the UK just 2.9 and Norway, which is the safest country in the world to drive in, recorded only 2.2. But there's another way to measure how dangerous a country's roads are, the amount of road fatalities per 100,000 vehicles inside the country. So by this measurement, here are the new top 20 most dangerous countries in the world to drive in, in which you'll notice that Libya is interestingly absent. Now the most dangerous roads appear to be located here in Guinea, with 9,462.5 deaths recorded in 2013 per 100,000 vehicles. That is 734 times higher than the rate in the US, 1,855 times higher than the rate in the UK, and 3,052 times higher than the rate in Norway, which by this metric again scores the safest driving rank in the world. While all of this is interesting, you clicked on this video because you wanted to know what individual road in the world is the most dangerous, and so there's a few for you to consider. The single deadliest road accident ever took place in Afghanistan in 1982 during the Soviet invasion of the country, at the Salang Tunnel through the Hindu Kush Mountains. Two Soviet convoys collided with one another and created a huge traffic jam through the three kilometer long tunnel. All of those cars idling inside of the tunnel for hours produced a lot of carbon monoxide that stuck around and killed at least 176 people while they were waiting. While that incident was definitely horrible, it's not like the tunnel is always that dangerous. So what about some roads that are dangerous all the time year round? For that, I'd like to show you the James Dalton Highway in Alaska, arguably the most dangerous road to drive on in the United States and probably North America. The road begins in Fairbanks and heads up north for 414 miles across the Alaskan wilderness to Prudhoe Bay on the Arctic Ocean. There are only three towns along this entire stretch of road with a combined population of 60 people. Coldfoot at mile 175, Wiseman at mile 188, and Dead Horse all the way at the end at mile 414. There are also only three gas stations, one at mile 56 and two more in Coldfoot and Dead Horse. So once you get to Coldfoot, it's another 239 miles to the next gas station, and the road itself is only paved for 25% of it. The rest of it is just gravel. In addition, the only medical facilities are located in the towns on either end of the road. So in an emergency, you could find yourself over 200 miles away from the nearest hospital. So survival gear is highly encouraged to be brought with you. And polar bears are also known to occasionally wander onto the highway and since they sometimes hunt humans, you may have to deal with one attacking you. And finally, there's the temperature, which can hit a pretty cold minus 62 degrees Celsius in the winter. So if your car breaks down in winter, you'd be dealing with horrible cold, getting stranded hundreds of miles away from civilization, and maybe deal with some polar bear attacks, but if you thought this was the most dangerous road in the world this whole time, you're 
you're wrong, because it's not. The actual road that is consistently ranked as the most dangerous road that you should never drive on is the Yungas Road in Bolivia, which is literally nicknamed the Road of Death because it looks like this, and also because 200 to 300 people die driving over it every year. 6 to 9% of all the road fatalities in Bolivia take place on this one single road, and it's pretty easy to see why. It's a single lane road with very few guardrails and exposed cliffs that drop down over over 1,000 meters below. The road is only a single vehicle wide, with traffic that goes both ways, and none of it is paved. The road is 69 kilometers long, and connects the towns of La Paz and Puerto Rico. Here, drivers are expected to drive on the left, so they have a better view of the cliffs that they could, you know, drive off of. The cliffs may be the main hazard, but landslides from above can also crush the car you're driving, rain can make the entire experience muddy and slippery, and fog can greatly reduce your visibility of the cliffs. Cliffs. Passing vehicles that are coming from the opposite direction is one of the most dangerous maneuvers, like in 1983 when a bus fell off of the cliff and killed over a hundred people, the worst road accident in the history of Bolivia. But thankfully, a newer road has been built recently that bypasses the old dangerous one so nobody has to drive on it anymore, but you still could if you really want to drive on the world's most dangerous road. Anytime you get behind the wheel of your car and drive, you're going to assume some amount of risk though just like you are any time you open your computer and you get on the internet. You can't get into a crash on the internet, but somebody can crash into your life and hack into your YouTube account and discover your search history, private information, delete your videos, or even transfer ad revenue away from you. This literally happened to me a few months ago earlier this year, and it's because I was using the same password for every site that I used. You should be using different and complex passwords for different sites, but remembering all of those can be a hassle, unless you have Dashlane. Lane. Dashlane will generate incredibly secure passwords for you, stores all of them in one secure place, and then autofills them on your devices when you go to log in, which will keep you safe while browsing the internet. But it does more than just that. Dashlane also offers a secure VPN to keep your browsing totally safe with no ads or data collection. They'll even scan the dark web for you to see if you have any leaked personal data and will send you alerts so that you can take immediate action if there are any. But the best thing is, you can try Dashlane for free right now for 30 days at dashlane.com slash rll and then when you're ready to upgrade to premium use the code rll to get 10% off thank you for watching